All right, guys, so we are here today for one of the most highly requested videos that I get asked to do on Instagram and on YouTube, and it is all about denim and my favorite denim. Now, this is gonna be a long video. I should probably get a water. And the reason why is because I feel like denim needs to be understood. I'm very, very passionate, very passionate about denim overall. I love jeans. I mentioned many times, if you're new, I worked in, um, I worked for a denim company for a really long time. So I have seen what goes into making jeans. I've seen why jeans can get so expensive. I've just seen it all and I was so trained to talk about all of these factors that it's just like stuck in my head. Like it's something that I always think about whenever I'm looking for denim, trying denim out and seeing how I'm gonna decide if I like it or not, all that good stuff. So. I feel like I need to talk about jeans before I even get into showing why because I feel like people have a very, very weird expectation around denim, especially right now because that raw denim look is so in. Like the ones that are, I mean, I'm going to show you a ton of them, but like this type of look for jeans that don't look super, super stretchy or elasticy is very in right now. Why well, I think that these jeans are great. I feel like a lot of people want that look of the jean, but they don't understand what it means to actually own that type of jean. Um, and the reason that I say this and the reason that I know so well is because I own an online clothing boutique. If you are new here, I know most of you guys know. If you're new, I own an online clothing boutique. I'll leave it down below. Some of the jeans that I'm going to talk about are actually from uh, BNC. So people want that raw edge, raw hem levi looking jean and we've brought them many many times that same style 100 percent cotton no stretch and the turnaround rate is not good on them it's because people think that they are going to be a stretchy fashion nova jean when that's just not the case in my opinion and this is just my opinion this is no shade to anybody that shops from anywhere i don't care where you shop it's, it has nothing to do with me but my personal opinion and the only reason that i'm giving this opinion is because people ask people are asking me about my denim and my denim collection and my denim the way i choose it and all that stuff i personally think that the more stretch that is in your jeans the cheaper they look i feel like when your jeans are not super super elastic super stretchy like that fashion nova type of jean they look more expensive even if you're not spending a lot on them you can spend 40 50 60 dollars on jeans from zara that have that same look that are way more affordable than you know if you don't want to spend money on a pair of levi's if you don't want to spend money on a pair of a goldie jeans or um reformation or diesel or seven for all mankind if you don't want to spend that money on jeans that's a hundred percent okay some people think it's ridiculous and that's fine there's you don't have to spend that much money but if you are going to go a cheaper route and you want your jeans to look more expensive, go for the jeans that don't have a ton of stretch in them. Now, I'm not saying that stretch in jeans is not good because there's actually a couple pair of jeans that I have here that do have stretch to them. And I love them. They're some of my favorite jeans, but they don't have a high percentage of elastic. Something that you need to look at, and I feel like a lot of people don't know this, and the reason that I'm speaking on that is because even my sister brought it up saying that she didn't understand what it meant. Whenever you're looking at jeans online or any product in general, doesn't matter if it's a linen pair of pants, doesn't matter if it's a jumpsuit, doesn't matter if it's a shirt, doesn't matter if it's jeans or shorts, you have to look at the composition of the jeans. The composition meaning what the jeans are made of, the percentage of cotton to elastic, the percentage of viscosity to cotton, the percentage of polyester if there is any. These are things that you have to look at. You have to look at this because if you look at a pair of jeans that are 100% cotton and expect them to be stretchy, you're going to be very disappointed when they get to you and they're not stretchy. If something is 100% cotton, it means it is raw, non-stretch denim. There is no stretch to it. They're not going to be like a jean that are like, you know, curving to your body. That's just not the way those jeans are. Where you want to start looking is the elastane or spandex. That is the percentage that you're wanting to look for if you do not want a pair of jeans that have no stretch. This is just a pair that I'm going to touch on really quickly. These are a pair of jeans from my store, BNC. Um, and these are, these are our The One Mom jeans. And <clears throat> when looking for jeans to bring to BNC, I am always looking for jeans that look 
expensive. I'm looking for jeans that look like they can compete with Levi and Reformation and a Goldie and all these places that have these beautiful quality jeans but try to get them at a lower price. So every time I look for jeans, if I see a pair that's 100% cotton, I already know. I love them, I understand how they work, but I know and I'm 100% positive that customers will buy them thinking that you know they're gonna be stretchy or they don't need to size up. In my opinion, if your jeans do not have stretch, you need to size up. Because of the fact that once you put them on and you see how stiff they are once they like until they loosen up, you're instantly gonna be like, these are the worst jeans, these feel like cardboard, blah, 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 blah. So these jeans specifically, these are the one mom jeans and they have that raw denim look and feel. They're amazing. They're one of my favorite pairs of jeans right now and they have 1% elastic. So if I hold the jeans like this and pull, you can see that there's a little bit of give to them. 1% though is a very small amount. That's not a lot of stretch. That's not like, let's see if I can find another pair. These for example. No, actually, I'll show another pair of our jeans. These are our um, high-rise mom jeans. Probably our most popular pair of denim. These have 2% spandex and 8% elastic. Or, er, 2% spandex and 8% polyester. Polyester is a material that does have stretch to it. So, where you can see how those they gave, not too much. These, you can see the give that these have. This one is a 90% cotton denim however these have still a very thick feel to them they're not like a thin or super thin stretchy type of fabric um as opposed to something like this these are 100 cotton these have no stretch to them if i pull they're not they're not stretching they're staying exactly the way that they are regardless of where you buy your jeans from it doesn't matter if it's from bnc it doesn't matter if it's from h&m forever 21 levi reformation um asos top shop look at composition that is the first thing you need to look at don't even look at length size stock go straight to the composition or the item details or whatever look at that item description and look straight to what the composition of the jeans are if you see 100 or 100 cotton and you do not like jeans that don't have stretch to them skip the jean right there once you start seeing one percent two percent three percent spandex that's when you know you're gonna have a really good thick jean with a little bit of stretch to them kind of like the ones that i just showed you from bnc they still have a little bit of stretch to them so i just wanted to mention that because that's something that i know people struggle with from experience because i own a store where people can buy jeans another thing that i want to say is a lot of people struggle with length and why is that it's because most girls the average these days is like 5'5 five, five and under. Of course, there's still girls that are over 5'6, five, 5'7, five, 5'8, five, 5'9. Five, five, I even have a model for BNC that's 5'11. If you're under like the 5'7, five, 5'6, five, 5'7 five, range, any denim that is not short, like if you look at the jean and it doesn't say that you can pick short, regular, or tall, or any denim that is not cropped, they're gonna fit you long just a spoiler alert they're going to be long on you because when they create a pair of jeans on a mannequin they're making it for the industry standard and the industry standard is usually over five six when you're looking at jeans if you really really like the shape of them you like the color you like the distressing you like the fabric but you already know that they're going to be too long on you you can do one of two things i've done both you can cut them straight across not these these you can cut them straight across, which is the easiest and cheapest option. You just take a pair of scissors and you cut straight across, throw them in the washing machine, and you get this nice frayed edge like this. These jeans did not come like this. I cut them myself because they're too long. I already knew they were going to be too long because I am only 5'3 and a half. I'm not a very tall person. So jeans that are made for a 5'7, five, 5'8 five, model are going to be too long on me. It's just what it is. I just, I feel like people have this crazy realistic or crazy unrealistic expectation that the way that it looks on the model is going to be the way that it looks on them and newsflash these models are size zero size one size threes and they're six three they're they're tall girls or you can take them to go get tailored if you do not want a raw edge like how these are these are these still have the hem on there if you can see them um so all you have to do is take them to your nearest tailor tell them i want this much taken off 
see how they look and then they will literally tailor them right there it's like ten dollars it's not super expensive for the jeans to fit you exactly the way that you want them to fit you so now we're gonna go ahead and get started with all of the jeans that i have to show you i don't know how many there are here i don't i don't know i didn't count so here are all my favorites there's still more but i would have been here with 30 pairs of jeans if i did this i'm a huge denim snob i love jeans it's the most exciting thing for me to shop for i love receiving jeans in the mail i love getting jeans for bnc i love jeans i'm a jeans type of girl over anything else so i'm gonna get started again in no particular order this isn't like worst to best this isn't my favorite to least favorite this is just whatever i'm gonna pick up so the first ones i'm going to talk about are the the one mom jeans from bnc i'm also going to have little uh videos on the side here so these are a mid wash blue jean they are a raw sort of denim you can see the texture of the jeans here they are not overly stretchy they are a very high rise they go right over my belly button and i absolutely love them they're so good and i love the length on them these are slightly cropped if you're someone that's really tall these are going to be more of a cropped leg on you but on me they fit me right at my ankle like perfectly at my ankle they have a little bit of stretch to them like i said but not too much you can see a little bit of give but they're still nice and stiff which is what i personally like i know that is not everyone's cup of tea i know a lot of people like very stretchy jeans a jegging whatever to each his own if you like those type of jeans you're gonna hate every single pair that i show you i'm just warning you now i love them they have a little bit of distressing right here at the knee i love my jeans with distress especially for the summertime i think that's such a cute spring and summer look in the winter i like to do jeans that don't have tons of rips in them just because i feel like i don't know it just doesn't look as good i feel in the winter time even though florida doesn't really have a winter right now on bnc we only have these left in a size one for some reason our really tiny sizes and our larger sizes don't sell out as fast it's everything that's right in the middle the threes fives sevens nines and elevens and thirteens go quick so yeah this is the first pair that i wanted to talk about um i love them so much they look good with any top also love this color i love mid wash blue jeans like the perfect right in between blue i don't like them too dark and i don't like them too light i like them right in the middle next up if you've been watching me for a while you know that my favorite uh brand of jeans is reformation these right here you can see they are not inexpensive they're a pricier jean they're between like 98 and like 170 i want to say i could be so wrong um but this pair right here is called the melissa high and skinny and these are in the shade baltic I have these in a size 28. I personally, and this is something I rant about all the time, go with what you normally wear. I feel like people base their size on what someone else is, and I feel like that's where people set themselves up. If you're a size 7, get you your size 7. Stick to what you normally wear in your jeans or make sure you're reading product descriptions and make sure you're reading reviews. So these are the pair that I had to cut myself because I knew that they were going to be too long. They are a true like regular blue jean no rips no distressing no nothing they have whiskers throughout here as you can see like all right there a little bit of fading there's a little bit of distressing around the pockets but that's not like on the leg or anything they are a high rise and they're a full butt enclosure which i actually like that i used to not like it the back pocket you can see here a little bit of distressing as well but also on the back there is no distressing all over the legs um the only distress that it has is from me cutting the hem i love these but these do not have any stretch at all if you are someone that does not like stretch do not buy these you won't like them but i love them next up is the other pair from bnc that i wanted to show you guys and these are the high-rise mom jeans we brought these last uh spring and summer and they've kind of been a staple ever since um we do still have like various sizes all throughout the website but these i have in a size five these are 90 percent cotton eight percent polyester and two percent spandex these have a really nice amount of stretch they're not like an overly stretchy jean but you can see they have a really nice amount of stretch along the hips they have a little bit of distressing right here and here and these are actually a little bit different because the bottom has this little cut here so this looks really good if you're like super short if you're like five one and under all the girls that buy these that are really really tiny love this little detail because it makes it so, makes it so that the jeans don't drag i am not that short i'm not five foot 
um, but this still gives me a really cute crop. I like how it looks with sneakers, with sandals for the summertime and all that good stuff. We have them in two different washes. I just grabbed this pair because this was the first pair there. Um, this is what the back looks like here, and these actually do have a rip in the uh, knee area, but these are such good jeans. You can see the reviews on our website. They are loved by so many girls. And yeah, if you're someone that likes that thick feeling of a jean, but you want something that has a little bit of stretch to it, these are ones that you'll really like. Next up, I have another pair of Reformation jeans. These also do have a little bit of stretch. These are the style Serena High and Skinny Crop. This is in the wash con and these are in a size 27. Now the reason that I sized down to a 27 is because I read the description and it said that there was elastic. When something has elastic, I know that I can be a true 27. If it doesn't have elastic, I know I have to size up to a 28. I just, I know this because I've bought jeans and I, I've worn jeans for such a long time. I know exactly how to buy my denim. Um, these are a button closure as well. So they button all the way. They're a high rise, which is my preference in denim. So they have a longer crotch um, and they are a solid blue. There's no distressing, no nothing all throughout. And I want to point out that these said crop in it. So I knew that I needed a crop cut to be able to wear them without like cuffing them or rolling them up or anything like that. So I specifically saw that these were called crop and I was like, okay, I want those because I knew I wasn't gonna have to cut them. I wasn't gonna have to get them hemmed. I wasn't gonna have to do anything like that. So that's just a tip. If you are looking for jeans that you don't have to get cut, if they offer a crop, get you a crop. Next up is another pair of Reformation jeans. These are literally my favorite. And these are the Julia High Cigarette Jean, and these are in the Wash Antigua. I have these in a size 28. Like I said, these are 100% cotton. So I know when they're cotton, I have to go up to a 28. These are actually a zip closure. As you can see, these are like a medium, a perfect medium wash and lots of distressing all throughout. I love these for the summertime. These are like my favorite summertime jeans because like I said, I love lots of rips and stuff like that. I did have to cut them. Like I mentioned, I have to cut them all because I'm not tall. These no stretch at all to them these have already loosened up because i've worn them so many times that is the trick for jeans that do not have stretch to them you gotta wear them you gotta break them in and as you're breaking them in they start to loosen up a lot like a whole lot they're nice and snug around the waist and then they fit like my hips and my thighs and all that stuff so i love these so much these are probably one of my favorite jeans of all time the julia um high cigarette Next up is a pair of Levi's, and these are my favorite Levi's ever, and these are the Wedgie Fit. These are a size 28, and these actually have, these have elastic in them. They're 99% cotton and 1% elastic, and the reason that I got them in a 28 was because I didn't know how much the elastic was gonna benefit me because the jeans are light. So just another tip, lighter jeans, they usually run smaller than darker jeans because the jeans have to be bleached more in order to get the color. So these are a perfectly light wash. I'm trying to go all the way up. Um, and you can see I didn't have to cut them because I got them in a cropped, like I got them in the short length. Love these so much, they're so flattering. They make your butt look really good. They have a nice amount of stretch, but not too much. And they just look like that nice vintage blue Levi wash that everyone loves. Next, we have a pair of jeans from ASOS. These are one of my favorite jeans as well. I love these, love the wash of them. They're light blue, not as light as the other ones that I just showed you guys. These are a size 2830, so that's another thing that I wanna point out. If you want your jeans to be shorter in the length, make sure that you're going shorter than a 32 in your length if you're, if you're short. These are 99% cotton and 1% elastic, so these have that raw look. These definitely are not as stretchy as those Levi's that are the same composition, um, but they fit very, very well. A 28 is perfect. I would not have sized down. They're literally perfect. So these are one of my favorite jeans. Um, I wear them all the time, especially in the spring and summer. This isn't really like a light or a wintertime jean to me. I normally wear darker jeans in the winter, but I love these so much. They are super high rise, which like I said, is my preference. A perfect wash and they are frayed at the bottoms. I think these were like the first pair that I got that came frayed like that. And then the last pair that I have to talk to you about, I'm actually wearing right now. So I'm going to just include the little clip of me talking about them. They are also from BNC and they are the straight leg distressed denim. I love them so much. They're 100% cotton, but they're softer than 
your typical like raw ed or like your typical raw like cardboard type denim they're really soft i love them they're so comfortable they're high rise i get questions about them every single time i wear them i'm wearing a size 7 and i almost wish that i would have gotten a size 5 because like i said once you start to wear your jeans for a while that aren't stretchy this is what will happen um but i don't mind it i'll just use these as more of like a slouchy jean when i'm feeling like bloated or whatever i was gonna get them tailored which i still might i'm debating but i think i like having a pair of jeans like this that are just like loose and comfy and easy to wear with like crop tops and not feel like everything's hanging out, you know? All right guys, so that is everything that I wanted to talk about in this denim video. I know you guys have waited forever and I hope you are excited. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. I think I'm gonna do like my 10 top styling tips to look expensive or something, I don't know. Make sure you guys subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.